talk to you about formal and informal English and when to use it. So keep on watching. Hi again and welcome to this Making Grammar Easier video. In this video I'm going to talk to you about formal versus informal English. So often we feel that we have the fight between formal and informal English and which one to use and in what circumstances we use them. So let's talk about that. So when can we use formal English? And when can we use informal English? I know this can be a challenge for many people out there. So by the end of this video, I know you're going to have a better idea of what to do and when to do it. So let's talk about formal English. You can use formal English in business letters as an example. You can also use formal English in letters to officials, i.e. people in the government um, and so on. Office memorandums or office memos if you want. So when you are sending instructions out to staff members in the company, you use your office memo or memorandum, use formal English. Also use formal English for company and business reports. And for students out there, use formal English when you're writing your homework. Also when you're doing notes or letters to teachers. So again, this one is for students. If you're at university or even high school, make sure you always use formal English in your homework or in notes or letters to teachers or professors. And when you're making speeches, presentations or oral reports, always use formal English. So as an example to you business people out there, if you're doing a business PowerPoint presentation, you must always use formal English. And lastly, in important conversations. Now this might mean that you're talking to somebody of, who has senior authority over you or who is very or who is regarded highly in their industry as an example. Always better to use formal English. Think of formal English as a business suit as an example. So when you put on your business suit, I because you think you're going to meet someone of, of great importance or you're working or you just want to look good, this is a good time to use formal English. So I want you to watch this video at least five times so you understand when you can use formal English or when you should use formal English rather. And these are the actions I want you to do after watching this video. I want you to write 10 sentences using formal English. I then want you to practice those sentences out loud in front of a mirror. Then I want you to record your sentences. The reason for the recording is because I want you to make sure you sound natural. If you don't sound natural, repeat your practice and repeat the record. Then I want you to use your formal English three times a day for one week. And there we have it. So thank you very much. Um, please leave your comments and feedback in the box just below this video. Um, I always find them very helpful. And thank you for visiting liamlust.com forward slash my blog. And I'll see you next time.